All right, Cappies, let's get it. It's your girl, the Empress. Happy to be here with y'all today. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you guys here with me today. All right, go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell for future notifications, okay? Because you don't want to miss out on your future videos. All right, so let's take a look into February. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. So take what applies and leave what doesn't because this is very much so a general reading, okay? So this is going to be for Cappies, the goats. All right, let's see what's coming in for you guys for February. What messages are there for my Capricorn? My Capricorns for the month of February. All right, I'm gonna shuffle a couple more times and then we gonna jump into it. All right, Capricorn. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the world card. All right, so there's been a lot of closing of chapters. I just did Scorpio's video. I think they had the same energy at the bottom. Or was it Cancer? One of them. But we got the Ten of Pentacles here, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. What's going on? All right, so there's, um, it looks like you want to close a chapter. All right, so let's see what's going on. We got the Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, lots of cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Eight of Swords, the Justice card here, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Yikes. Okay. All right, Capricorns. So this is why the Ten of Pentacles is here. You got finances on your mind with the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Like you got business and money on your mind. Knight of Pentacles. You feel burdened. Okay. You feel burdened. All right, so let's see. First, right off the bat, I feel like y'all are confused or you're feeling like um, you're feeling like I'm getting like there's a lot of people around you. We got the three of cups and the seven of cups. So there could be a lot of people in your social group. OK. And I'm getting like somebody's telling you how they feel or you're confused about how you feel. This could also be that you guys have a lot of options. And I feel like some of y'all are feeling the need to cut off, to cut an option out or a few options out. Okay, we got the sun card that wants to reveal itself. Okay, so you, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. I got the lover's card here. could be dealing with the Gemini and the magician. Okay, so you want to make the best decision. Some of y'all are thinking about just being single, okay? We got the single person here that's doing some soul searching. That's possibly going to be the best decision that you feel like is going to be best for you right now is for you to go do some soul searching and love yourself, okay? This is self-love and a journey. The hermit is going to take a journey, you know, to see what path he needs, he or she needs to go on. You know, that's an inner thing. This is a, it's special because it's a, a me journey okay because i see like y'all are y'all are very conflicted on this decision i feel like some of y'all tried to work something out or you want to build here with the water sign we got queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio but i'm getting like y'all are worried you're worried maybe there's somebody blocking this or there's blockages Okay, you may have already like something happened out of the blue and somebody walked away, walked away from this connection. 
Okay. Somebody made a final decision to walk away. Okay, so what's going on here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Queen of Swords. There we go. See, some of y'all feel like you got to cut. You got to make a decision. Okay. We got the Moon here and the Two of Cups. Ooh, all right. So we got a secret relationship here. So maybe y'all, you know what, Capricorns? Y'all been going through this for too long. I've been talking the same thing with y'all for months now. <laughs> I've been talking to y'all the same thing for months. Somebody here got something going on on the side or on the low. And y'all just can't make up y'all damn mind what y'all want, who y'all want. Y'all don't know if y'all coming or going. <laughs> Somebody here could be married here. Okay. See, like, you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about life, how life was. Okay. And... You could be spying on somebody to see what they got going on. So this is blocking you from making a decision. You want to communicate with somebody, but you feel like that chapter has closed. Yeah, you want to you want to communicate with somebody. Maybe you're waiting for this person to reach out or you're waiting for this person to come towards you. But you want to talk to them. Um, I feel like some of y'all are having regrets, okay? And you're wanting to fix things or balance things out, have a more balance. Um, but somebody, I feel like y'all are so ready to talk to somebody. Two of Wands and the Ace of Swords, like, either y'all are playing something over in your mind. Like, what am I going to say when I finally do talk to this person? When this person does come back my way, if they come back my way, what am I going to say to this person? What are they going to say to me? And I feel like, and at the same time, y'all want to start something new. So it looks like you're reviewing something that happened in the past. Like your plan is over and over and again in your head. But at the same time, y'all got other options or other things to do to occupy your time. And maybe you're using that. That's blocking you from making a decision. That's blocking y'all from making this decision. But you feel like it's time for you to cut somebody off. Okay, three of cups. Y'all got hella options with that seven of cups there. That's what that is, it's options. See, now you're looking back at regrets. You're looking back at a situation, now you're regretting something. Maybe you're tired of looking like the bad person in the situation. We got the strength card here, could be a Leo. I feel like some of y'all dealing with Scorpio. Some of y'all are taking y'all time to make this decision because you're building. Like, you may be using these other people as resources, okay? So, you're taking your time with the Knight of Pentacles. You're taking your time because this is what you're doing. You're building. <laughs> you're building. You're working on something here before you get into a full-fledged relationship. So, you're trying to have something to bring to the table. But somebody, something happened to where somebody out of the blue, like all of a sudden, the tower moment came in and somebody left. And it's because some, some, something here, there's a lot of blockages, okay? And now you're worried. You're over here frustrated and worried because you're thinking about a water sign here with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with this Queen of Cups. You feel like y'all tried. You feel like, I tried, I tried, but then this happened. <laughs> okay, why is the five of cups here? All right, think You could be dealing with the Taurus. But you, I feel like y'all are regretting um, something just did not go right the way that you expected it. You tried to keep something a secret with the four of pentacles and the high priestess. You tried to keep something a secret, but I feel like that secret got out. We got the emperor and the empress, yeah, a relationship, a connection that you tried to keep a secret got out. And somebody went ham, five of wands, somebody was pissed and disappointed. Somebody was supposed to give you some money or something like that. I'm getting like somebody giving or offering you money for attention. So somebody's swapping out 
your attention trying to pay you for that for your love pay you for attention somebody's paying for it someone's buying your love is what i'm getting here we got the king of wands and the queen of wands all of this is symbolic look at this we got the king of wands queen of wands emperor empress okay so i'm gonna like some of y'all are dealing with a twin flame but then y'all possibly got some karmic stuff going on on the side What's the higher thing? The moon. Pisces energy. But you were trying to, you were hiding something and it got out. It got out. What's the king of cups here? The death card. I feel like y'all are emotionally unavailable right now. We got the death and the king of cups. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. I'm getting a Scorpio male here. Or female, but I'm getting like y'all just are emotionally unavailable and y'all are being really cold, okay? <laughs> King of Swords, like y'all just being real cold right now. Y'all are being real cold right now and y'all are very emotionally unavailable. Page of Cups, the Lovers. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Somebody could be trying to force you. You feel like you're being forced to uh, to love somebody or flirt. Because the Page of Cups is the flirt card, okay? This is Google Gaga messages and this, this, that, love messages. Like, these are love messages. You may feel like you're being forced to respond um, to someone but you're so emotionally unavailable like you're you're not showing this person any of your emotions my still lovers card here ten of wands because you're burnt out by the situation yeah see really what you want to do is just drop everything and move on possibly from a fire sign here could be leo with the Strength card. I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands and the Sun. This is Leo's energy. Some of y'all are dealing with the Leo. But, like, you told them, I feel like you are being, I feel like with the King of Swords, listen, and the Page of Pentacles, the way that you're communicating to this person or communicating about the situation is really blunt. You're thinking about being alone. You're thinking about how you're going to suffice doing this by yourself. Because I, I do feel like somebody here is trying to buy you, buy your affection or buy your attention. You feel like this person could be in the way, could be blocking you. And this tower moment happened with this person and somebody walked away. You don't want to argue with this person. Why is the six swords here? Two of wands. See, the two of wands here, you're making plans. You're planning your exit, possibly. Now we got the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. She's revealing herself again. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Chariot. It looks like you're rushing towards a water sign. I feel like some truth either has already been revealed or is getting ready to be revealed or there's about to be a communication coming in from a water sign. Okay. This is going to help balance you out, help balance the situation out. For some reason, I'm getting like somebody feels pushed away or somebody feels forced to say or do something. You've been waiting on this. Like you've been hoping that this person was going to come towards you. But I still feel like you don't know what you want. You don't, you're uncertain about who you want to be with. You're uncertain. But you still want to offer this person something. Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like you owe this person an apology with the Three of Swords. I'm getting someone here possibly has a wife with the Empress, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Somebody who they've been separated from or divorced. Maybe there's an ex-wife or something like that. But somebody's been keeping some damn secrets. Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. For a long time, too. All right, so past energy is the Eight of Swords. 
So you feel trapped. You feel trapped. There's that seven of wands. You're trying to break free out of this trap feeling. Okay, there you go. The devil. You feel you're stuck in, you feel like you're stuck in this situation. You stop putting in the effort. Um, the two of pentacles, you're trying to decide where you want to be at long term. But you feel stuck. You feel stuck. You and you you could be possibly analyzing what changes you need to make before you jump out here. Before you jump head first out here. So in the past, you were contemplating on what changes you possibly need to make. Okay, because I'm getting like I'm getting that there's been some sneaky, some sneaky going, some sneaky energy going on, some lying, cheating, deceptive energy. Okay, now we got the Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands is revealing herself again. The Sun, whoever this is, they possibly have been financing you, possibly giving you money, possibly like I said, I feel like somebody's buying your love. Okay, somebody's buying your love. All right, now we got justice uh, in the future energy. Some of y'all are dealing with some karma here. We got Libra's energy. A Libra could be involved. Why is justice here? Yeah, you feel like something isn't right. You feel like something isn't right. See, now I feel like you're going through a period of you're trying to see who you want to cut off. Now you're looking at the situation from a more... Um, just standpoint of view okay with the two of swords here okay queen of wands i i feel like you just feel like something isn't right or just with this queen of wands leo sagittarius aries somebody wants a full-fledged commitment somebody wants a title somebody wants to be married somebody wants somebody to move in but i just feel like you're not sure if that's the right move for you Okay, yeah, see, we got the strength card and justice. Somebody wants you, I feel like this Leo wants you to make a final decision. But see, what the thing about it is, is I feel like you're either plotting on ghosting this person or you need to think about this. You need to think about it before you make a move. See, you want, you want new energy. You want to invite new energy in, but at the same time, at what cost? Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? Knight of Wands. See, yeah. See, a lot of y'all been playing. <laughs> a lot of y'all been playing. Okay. A lot of y'all been playing this person. Okay. Y'all been doing a lot of playing around, but this is fate. Okay. It's the universe is stepping in to try to get some order and structure to this situation. Okay. I feel like some of y'all know that y'all got to make some changes. Y'all got to make some changes and you got to make a decision. <laughs> All right, now the Ten of Swords is here. The Devil. See, yeah. See, this is you. You've been waiting a long time. <laughs> You've been waiting so long to make this decision. Some of y'all are going to return back to your past. You want to see what the past looking like. Some of y'all feel like somebody didn't put in enough effort to reach out to you. Why is the three of wands here? Yeah, like you got your guard up. You got your guard up. And there also could have been some type of betrayal. Either somebody feels betrayed by you. Because I got this other person's energy as the five of swords. So somebody feels betrayed by you. Um, and you're kind of like waiting to see. Um, you're waiting to see. How this is going to turn out. It's like you're kind of just waiting this out. Give me a second, Capus. Okay, so we got the nine of wands. Okay, so you're like waiting and watching, like you're kind of sitting like on the sidelines. Why is the nine, nine of wands here? Like your guard is up. Why is your guard up? Okay, the ace of cups. 
You're waiting to see if somebody has somebody new. Is there somebody new in the cut? King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So, like, you're watching this other person to see what they got going on before you make your next move. I feel like you're tired of being single. You're tired of kind of, like, doing things by yourself, doing all the work by yourself, or you feel like you're doing the everything by yourself. But... I feel like you're slow to make this decision because you're waiting for somebody else to make a move first. Like, you're going to see if they're done first before you make a, a move. Yeah, like, that's what I'm getting. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Temperance. Yeah, like, you're watching somebody to see how they feel. Then we got the Emperor. Yeah, you're, wa you're waiting to see who this person, who this other person got, what they got up their sleeve. <sighs> Now we got five of swords. See, this other person feels like they um, they won this battle, okay? Because I'm getting like there was a lot of pettiness going on with the five of swords. But then that six of wands is saying like, yeah, I overcame that. I won this battle. I won this. Like, I'm one. <laughs> we got the sun card. It could be a Leo. So some of y'all got this Leo feeling like they won, okay? Why is the six of wands here? Yeah, because they came and fucked shit up. The tower. Okay, with this other person who is this empress. The empress is the mother card as well. Sister, aunt, uh, female, feminine energy. Somebody tried. Yeah, see, with the eight of pentacles and the two of cups. They've been putting in the effort uh, showing that they want this relationship. Like I said, this person is the queen of pentacles. Like, I feel like this person may have been showering you with gifts, um, you know, giving you that, that, uh, luxury feeling. Um, and that's typical for if a lot of you are dealing with a Leo, like Leos love to do that. Like they'll shower you with gifts and their affection. Okay. But I'm getting like somebody, I still feel like you guys are communicating like, very bluntly like exactly what it is why is the tower here like your truth yeah oh so they got the shocking truth was revealed and they feel like they won okay now we got the sun again so like i said for some of you the truth came out some type of truth came out about who somebody was messing with or dealing with we know what this ace of wands is <laughs> we know what that is who somebody was messing around with. Yeah, they went to do some research. <laughs> there this person go again, that sun card. Yeah, they went to go get that clarity. Okay, so they found out the details. They may have came at, at the other person here and put it out there. Go ahead and air the truth out. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's that talk about money. Okay, so some of y'all have been saving your money like this person been giving I, I just get a feeling like somebody's been showering y'all with stuff um but i at the same time i feel like you try so hard to keep this situation a secret but possibly because some of y'all are married possibly because somebody in the picture is married and they're separated or whatever because the three of swords and the ten of pentacles is a separation or a divorce somebody wants that title now Somebody wants that uh, status to say that they are crowned Mrs. or Mr. whatever, okay? <laughs> and somebody wants you to tell this water sign what it is, okay? This water sign and this Leo keep popping up, okay? So for some of you, you're dealing with a water sign and a fire sign. All the signs are here, but it's just specific signs that just keep popping out. Yeah, so they want somebody wants wants you to cut somebody off because they feel like they put in the work to have this, to have to say that they're your emperor or your empress. Okay, like I said, Queen of Pentacles. They've been putting in, they feel like they've been putting in enough. Now, the outcome is the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? Some of y'all are missing whoever this empress is. Okay, now the five of pentacles is feeling like rejected or left out in the cold, but this is also like you're missing somebody, okay? Someone's mother could be involved. 
I feel like you know you need to make some changes. Um, but I don't know if you're willing to do that. I feel like some of y'all are still going to have put a lot of these situations. Just keeping things on hold. There this person goes again. <laughs> you're waiting for this Leo. Um, you're putting a Leo on hold. Or you're waiting for a Leo. To make a decision. Okay, so. You're putting something on hold. Somebody definitely is saying that they want a relationship with you. Okay. Why is the two of pentacles here? The fool. Somebody, you may feel like somebody's going to start cheating and it's going to be uh, this five of wands energy. Like you, I feel like you feel like it's just going to be a whole mess. I feel, do feel like y'all want to try something new, though. Y'all want to try something new. Y'all want to do something different. Y'all want to see different things, go different places, do new things. I feel like a lot of you guys are spying on the fire sign. And I also feel like a lot of y'all are just doing this because you're afraid to put your heart on the line because possibly you got hurt before. You feel like, you know, possibly afraid to kind of like step out there. Yep, it came back out. You don't want to get your heart broken, okay? Because something that happened to you, I'm seeing here, oh, it happened the last time. I feel like uh, somebody walked away from somebody and I do feel like you're going to eventually like get tired of doing a single thing um, and you'll eventually make a decision. But I feel like right now, I don't, I'm not too sure if y'all ready to make a decision <laughs> yet. I'm not sure if you too, if y'all ready to make a decision yet. I feel like. You got people fighting for your affection, fighting for your love. I feel like you're enjoying that right now. But eventually, you feel like, you know, I might want to settle down eventually. But if, I feel like for some of you, you know, you're just not ready. You're not ready. <laughs> All right. So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with you guys on the next video. If you're interested in booking a personal, that information is in the drop box below. As well as you can check out the website, guys, for um, handmade ritual oils as well as spiritual pieces, okay? The, the website is www.empressempireoils.com. And I'm going to chat with y'all on a later date. Ciao for now.